Hello and welcome to my new trip report. Today we are going to San Marino. San Marino is a landlocked microstate located entirely within Italy. It is one of the world's oldest republics and it's known for its picturesque mountainous terrain and historic city-state status. I'm starting my journey in the city of Bologna. To get to San Marino I first have to take a train from Bologna to Rimini and I then have to take a bus to the city. This video was made when masks were still mandatory in Italy, in case you wonder about it. I'm taking a regional train down to Rimini, the ride will take about 2 hours. Taking the regional train to Rimini was one of the first mistakes I made today. You will soon see why. My hotel was opposite of the entrance to the station and of course I'm early at the platform again. The platform looks still empty. This will soon change. There's the train and my main mistake was that I didn't think about that Easter Monday is the highest holiday in Italy as it seems. The weather's nice, Rimini is known for its beaches so everybody was going down to Rimini. The train was totally packed, there was no seat and I had to sit in a place where normally luggage is stowed. I definitely was not standing for two hours. Finally, we arrived in Rimini and it was just a beautiful warm day. Now let's talk about my second mistake, or better said, it was a mistake the bus company did. As Easter Monday is one of the most important holidays in Italy, the bus service to San Marino was changed, there were fewer departures and had no chance to get there as I planned. Also all car rentals were closed because I checked everything in the city. But there was one last chance. And that chance was paying 50 euros for a one-way trip by taxi to San Marino and by that risking my life because taxi drivers in Italy drive like hell. But as you hear, I survived and it was totally worth the trip because I just came here to go to San Marino. One important perk taking a taxi, they will drop you off directly at the gates to the old town. Private cars had to park downhill and it was a long walk up. But let's take a little sightseeing walk through the old town. San Marino is the world's oldest surviving sovereign state and the oldest republic. It dates back to the year 301 AD when San Marino's a stonecutter founded the monastic community atop Mount Titano. As you will see throughout the video, San Marino is a very touristy place. You could buy stuff more or less useless at every corner. One really nice thing about San Marino is that there are no cars allowed in the old town. From the old town of San Marino you have a great view around the area. You can both see the Italian countryside around and the Adriatic Sea in the east. The language in San Marino is Italian but most people here speak English because it's a tourist destination. San Marino uses the Euro and they even make their own coins, but I think they are only for collectors and are not in circulation. The Basilica di San Marino, also known as the Basilica di San Marino e San Leo, is one of the main religious landmarks in San Marino. It is dedicated to Saint Marinus, the founder of the Republic of San Marino, and Saint Leo, another patron saint of the country. Okay. 
The architecture of the basilica is characterized by a neoclassical style with impressive columns and the grand facade. Inside the basilica you can find various religious artwork and relics related to the country's history and saints. This is also one of the main tourist attractions in the city. And of course, you can't miss the three iconic towers of San Marino. When you walk through the old town, you will automatically visit most of these towers. The three towers are called Guaita, Chester and Montale, each with its unique history and charm. I will leave the history of the towers to the website that I link down below in the description. But of course I had to visit one of the sites and you pay a small entrance fee, but it was totally worth it. This tower is just fantastic and you will see the view is amazing and I think it was quite important to see what happens around you. And of course I had to visit all the three towers in San Marino. The last one is a little bit outside of the old town. And the walk on the old city wall was just amazing. The views were beautiful and you can take a lot of good pictures here. And from here you can see Rimini and the Adriatic Sea to the east. And now I'm entering the old town from the other side, on my way to the Piazza della Lipata. The Piazza della Libertà is the main square in San Marino's capital city and offers a charming setting for visitors. It's surrounded by historic buildings, shops, cafes and often hosts local events. 
The building behind the statue is the Palazzo Publico, a significant landmark in San Marino. In English it would be called the Public Palace, it is one of the most iconic structures in San Marino. It holds immense historical and political significance and it serves as the seat of the government of the Republic of San Marino. The palace is open to the public and for a small entrance fee you can take a tour through the whole building. This building has two main functions. One of them is that it hosts the State Museum, where you can get a lot of information about the history of San Marino. The other function is that it is the seat of the government of San Marino. It is here where the Council of the Twelve and the Grand and General Council convene to make the laws for the Republic. And as you can see, they even let you inside this beautiful room. Only one thing left for the day after a beautiful walk through the city. I have to get back to Rimini to catch my train back to Bologna. And of course I had to take a taxi back to Rimini. The San Marino taxi cost me about 60 euro. The waiting time for the taxi was not 15 minutes as I was told, it was more about 40 minutes. The driver wanted cash payment, so we had to stop at an ATM on our way back. The driving style of this driver I would describe as a little bit more adventurous. Signs and lines were only useless information for him. And of course I had to take a totally overfilled train back to Bologna and this time I was sitting on the floor in the aisle. Thanks for joining me on my little trip today. And as always I hope you have enjoyed the trip report. Now would be the perfect time to subscribe to my channel. And of course you are welcome to leave a like, a comment and hit the bell. Thank you for watching, see you on my next trip report and until then remember to travel is to live.